Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. Uh, today I've got something rather exciting planned. Um, I'm going to pick up Dan, who I did uh, geocaching with last week. And we're going to do a vlog on Pokemon Go. New game app. Uh, it's not technically been released in the UK yet, but me and Dan have both managed to get it on his phones, so... Uh, yeah. Just on the way done it to pick him up, it's only about 20 minutes before I'm there. Obviously I was talking to you a lot for 20 minutes, but yeah, um I need to pick I need to go and put some petrol in first actually, so I'll go and do that now. Right, I'm now in Doncaster, I've just rang Dan, I'm about two minutes away from his house and I'm going to pick him up. Right, I've picked Dan up, we're on his way to uh, Spratbra to do some uh, Pokemon Go, we'll have a walk around. Uh, there's some geocaches up there, so I might do mix some of that in with it. Uh, I'll probably do some of the ones I've done before, just so they're easy enough to find. Um, I'll pass you over to Dan now, he's going to talk for a bit. And yeah, there you go. Hey everyone, right, so like Scott was saying earlier, Pokemon Go is it's, it's not properly out in the UK. I don't think it's out in Europe yet, is it? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think we've released it yet. I think it's something to do with they've had some server issues, you know, they're getting overloaded because everyone's playing it, so they're not releasing it here yet, but we've got it anyway. So, I got, I downloaded it yesterday, went out with a mate of mine, um, who has already downloaded it, and we were out for two, two and a half hours, went for a little walk, about four or five miles, something like that, and caught loads of Pokemon, Evolved a couple, found a gym, maybe, been to a gym, about a few Pokemon. Fighters, is that the right word? I don't know. Fought. Fought, that's the one. I knew, I knew Fighter didn't sound right. Yeah, so we fought a couple of Pokemon at the gym, um, found a few poker stops, just get some freebies. And uh, yeah, so Scott's, how long have you you've kind of like, I've been on it a little bit, haven't you? I downloaded it last night, I just had a dabble with it whilst I spread one of the mates' houses. Yeah, so hopefully Scott's going to pick up some more Pokemon today, as uh, as hopefully I will. So we're heading to, as Scott said, we're heading to Sprotbrew, which is, again, an area of Doncaster. Quite a nice area. The River Don runs through it. You get a lot of narrow boats, some nice walks. You know, it's a nice area. So hopefully we uh, it's the prime location for some wild Pokemon. Okay, so we've just parked up at Sprotbrew. Which is by the river, we're loading Pokemon up, and straight away Scott has found a slowpoke. He's catching us. Found the camera around, he's trying to catch a slowpoke. I haven't found a slowpoke yet, so I secretly want this slowpoke too. Yeah. Will, it, will it stay? Will it stay? Oh, I've got two Pokemon. I've got another one there as well. I've got a tadpole thing, I can't remember a lot of Pokemon. There's also, um. He's got it. I've got it. I'm going for the same one. Look, there he is. I'm rubbish at this, especially when I'm using my thumb. I'm rubbish. I cannot do this at once with my thumb. I have to use my, my finger. What? My uh, mine seems to have crashed. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this on the camera, so I'm just going to try. I've got it. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. I'm really excited. I'll put the camera again. Although there's another Pokemon in the area, so. Basically, we've, we've arrived, we've, we've got people waving at us already, and we don't know who they are. So, um, yeah, so, we've parked up oh by the river. Mine's crashed. It's crashed already. This one thing we'll say, it does like to crash. Obviously, it's quite new, it might be something, hopefully, there's something they will try and fix. Um, I've actually got another Pokemon to catch. You don't mind. I'll just spam, spin it round. This is the River Don at Doncaster. As you can see, we've got a narrow boat there. And there's no guy juggling knives today, which is... No, that, that is true. We came here, like, last, was it last year? Last year, yeah. Maybe it's about three times ago, the guy. Right over there, juggling knives. How'd you do? Okay, I've got an Eevee. I'm going to go for it. I'm rubbish using my thumb. I have to, like, hold my phone with two hands. Oh, mine's come up too. There we go. I've got it. I've got it. Will it stay? Let's show the show with the camera. Oh, we've got mine too. Oh, we've got two. <laughs> Will he stay? Will he stay? Yes, I've got him. Have you got him? Yes, yes. we've both got the Eevee. So, 
So straight away we've come to a new area. This is an area that I've not been Pokemon in yet as a Scott. <laughs> nope. And straight away there's different Pokemon. So it shows how it works. Different areas have different types of Pokemon. Yesterday I was walking through a housing estate and the amount of Rattatas and uh, Pidgeys around there were just unreal. And Weedles, quite a few of them as well. Oh, one. We've got another one already, we have. Bat thing. A Zubat. A Zubat. I've got, I've got one of them but we'll, we'll go again. Okay, so we've just found two Zubat. Now, you see, I caught both of them. Scott only caught one. I'm just going to make up this basically, I'm going to make a point to Scott here. Even though you've already got one, it's worth catching it again. Because basically, you can trade the, the weakest one, and you actually get one of, you know, the candy you get to evolve it. Mm -hmm. You actually get one candy for trading it in. So it's a surplus one, but you do get the candy you build up, you can evolve your, your stronger one. So it is worth catching two or three of them. I must have had about 20 different Pidgeys yesterday, and <laughs> you know? I've traded them all in, which meant I could evolve it, I know it's a trade up, evolve it into a Pidgeotto. So, yeah, we're heading down the river and see what else we can find. Already we found, there was a Pokemon bat there, and while I was catching the Zubat, it ran away, and it's annoying because I haven't got one of those yet. So hopefully, I will get my opportunity to, to catch one of those as well. Right, so we're walking along a bit further and... I found a Pokemon that I found earlier, but it ran away, and it's a Star You. So I'll go try and catch it. Mm -hmm. So, let's see if I'm rubbish at this. So, let's see if I can get first time. Oh, got it, first time. So, another thing. Hopefully I keep this. Basically, although this is a Pokemon Go video, our video a few days ago, last week, Sunday, yeah, Sunday was week. a geocaching video. Now, this route that we're on today was one of our most successful geocaching routes. So, we may pick up a couple of the geocaches just to show you some of the, the nifty ways that people use to disguise them. Um, there's one a little bit further down which we're surprised we actually found because it was so well hidden. Mm -hmm. I'll not give away any details yet until we've found it but uh, yeah so there's going to be a bit of geocaching in today's vlog as well but it's mainly Pokemon. <clears throat> okay so another thing you pick up is Pokemon eggs and you get an incubator to start with basically you've got to put them in the incubator and you've got to walk a set distance for the egg to hatch. Uh, I've got three eggs currently but I've only got two incubators so I've got one I've got to walk five kilometers for it to hatch the other one I've got to walk ten kilometers. I picked this up yesterday um, I've only done well just under a kilometer so I've got a lot of walking to do yet to hatch these but it'll be interesting to uh, see what happens there they are in their incubators and obviously the one that uh, my spare one Right, there's another thing that you can pick up. In fact, when you start, you get two, I think you get given two, which is incense, yeah. I used one last night, I picked up a third one from uh, a poker stop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use incense, which for 30 minutes brings in some more rare old Pokemon, so it says, and we'll see what else we pick up. Obviously we'll buy a river, so we might not get the typical fish and bats and things like that. So we're gonna activate that now. So I'll just pan the camera over. Yeah. So. Here's your incense. I think you tap on it on the screen. Okay, so um, yeah, we got disturbed by a phone call then, but yeah, we've activated the the incense. So you'll see a timer come up on the right and of the screen in a second. There's server issues. As you can, little poker ball thing there. That's there's probably signal around here. Signal's not brilliant. Yeah. It's not probably, probably not picked the best area to do it. But uh, yeah, the incense basically for 30 minutes brings in more rare uh, Pokemon for the next 30 minutes it's also handy if you really can't be bothered to say you know go out for a walk and you just sat there in your house you just get Pokemon walking around your living room it's quite fun so <clears throat> yeah we're gonna uh, pack the incense I'm gonna activate it on mine as well and we'll see what, uh, what else we pick up okay so we've activated our incense and these rare and wild Pokemon have already arrived I've got a wild Pidgey which is annoying because I've already got like 15 of them. But, yep, there's the wild Pidgey. Doesn't look very impressed. Oh man, bounced off his head and everything. Let's try that again. I don't know why I'm bothering. I've got like, like I say, I've got like loads of these. Oh, there we go, I've got him. If he escapes, I'll be very surprised. I had a really awkward Pidgey though last night in my house and I gave up in the end. He kept he like escaped four times, I gave up. Yeah I got that one. Okay so we found another fish. It's a goldine which 
if I remember, I played Pokemon for a long time. I think that's an evolved version of the Magikarp. So let's have a go at that fella. I've got mine. Spinning the phone around, he's over there, look. Although somehow this one's swimming, he's not flapping around on the floor. There you go, you've got your Goldeen. Yeah, so I'm going to try and catch this Goldeen too. I'm just going to grab the camera. Yep. So let me go for the Goldeen. First time. That is so unlike me. So we've got a Goldeen. Fair enough, we'll buy a river, makes sense. So the incense is working, it's bringing more Pokemon in. There we go, I've got him. We're uh, losing battery life on our phones, so I think we're going to give up with the uh, Pokemon hunting for now. We've uh, both just managed to catch a catch, uh, Clefairy. Clefairy, so uh, I think that's going to be the last Pokemon for now. For now. We'll uh, head back to the car and um, recharge his phones and maybe do some more later. But at the moment, I'm just going to go and walk up here. Uh, going to find some geocaches out there. Some that we've found before, so we know where they are, where to look. Just, just, so we can, just so we can give you an idea of... Give you an idea of like how difficult some of them are actually to find. This is how difficult, like, you've got to, how much you've got to actually look for the geocache. How, how, how well they're hidden, sometimes they're disguised. Some people at places are quite, uh, quite good at this. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll carry on up this path and let's go and find some geocaches. Right, I'm on site of one of the geocaches that I was uh, told you about. Uh, Dan stayed behind because the path that you have to walk down to get to it is a little bit muddy. I don't know if you can see that. It's, uh, yeah, rather muddy. But if I remember right, this is about where it is. So uh, let's have a look, see if we can find it. Now, as I said, some of them are a bit tricky to find. I'm not going to give any information about the name of the geocache, but I think one of the clues on the geocache was the tree hugger you got to hang on or something, and there's a big tree up there. Now, if I remember rightly, it wasn't that far up. So if I just I move up here a bit and try and get a good foot in, I don't want to fall. There's a, a rock here. If I remember, this is it. Yep, there we go. You can see it's just a small tub wrapped in uh, camo. Take it out and let's see what good is inside it. See if there's anything different from last time I was here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a log book. And there we go, that's it. You can see last time we signed it, 24th of April. That was uh, two, about two and a half months ago. Now 11th of, 11, no, 12th of July. There's been three more people at it since last time. And there seems to be a new Jota logbook thing here, so no one signed that by those things. There is... Um, Cork. I can't remember if that was here last time or not. There's a looks like a euro coin. Uh, of course, we're not in the euros anymore, so it's uh, a bit useless here. Let's pull that out. Let's have a look. Um, Two hundred foreign. So it's not a euro. I'm not sure where that's from. If you can, uh, if you know where this coin might be from, foreign. Then uh, let me know in the comments. Um, what else have we got? Bounty ball, uh, flowers, and a McDonald's party hat. And some, what appears to be fool's gold, iron pyrite, if I remember that's what it's called. Again, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's put this back now. Stick the lid back on. Uh, put this notebook back in. Right, and uh, let's put it back in its hiding place. So, back up here, stick it in there. It's a nice little area to hide a geocache. So, you can see 
some of them are rather difficult. I'll stick this rock back on there. And uh, let's see if we've got time. I don't know if we can find any more on the way back to the car. I'll, uh, I'll update on the progress. Right, let's uh, go and find Dan. Right, now back at the car. I didn't bother finding any of the, any of the um, other geocaches on the way back to the car, so uh, let's stick it at that one for now. Uh, Dan's just gone. I don't know if we mentioned earlier in the video that sometimes when we come here we see a guy juggling knives on the other side of the river. And walk back to the car, I was seeing him, I, I did try and get some footage on the uh, camera, but the zoom's not that good, and to be honest, you couldn't really see it. So Dan's just gone with his phone to um, try and get some decent footage, obviously the phone's got better zoom than this GoPro that I'm using to film on. Yeah, we found a gym. Basically, that's the phone there. In fact, we're literally over parked up. There's been another car, so it's probably the same people doing what we're doing. Okay, so Scott can't do a gym yet because he's only level four. You've got to be level five to do a gym. I'm a level six, so uh, there's an Eevee which is currently winning that. So I'll tap the little punch symbol. I'm going to use my drowsy because I've just basically killed my other Eevee fighting a Raticate. So let's go. You can dodge, you can swipe right, swipe left. So I'm just going to attack this poor little Eevee, oh, I'm going to die, he's stronger than me, I'm going to move over here, uh, he's, he's, going, he's going for me, I'm going to move over here, oh no, I'm so going to die, so hopefully you can see this, I'm trying to do it so I can see as well, I'm going to get over here, drowsy, oh I nearly did it, I nearly did it, come on, come on, come on, come on. yes, there we go, I actually won that one, just, so there we go, I won. Right, heading home now. Uh, dropped down off about five minutes ago. He's gone to get something to eat, and I'm gonna head home and get something to eat myself. I think it's been a rather good day. We've been out for a few hours, got a few Pokemon, and of course, you've seen that geocache. So um, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it there, and hopefully do a new another new vlog uh, soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe in a couple of days. But uh, either way, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.